The scholarship we are going to be talking about today actually comes with 350 euro per month for those who are applying for master's and bachelor program and those who are applying to doctoral program they will be getting 660 euro per month if you are being selected as a doctoral student the funding is going to cover uh 12 months of the academic year okay which is for degree students and for the exchange students funding is available up to 10 calendar months per year okay so if you are going to be applying for two-year program then it means each of the year will actually be paid for but as an exchange student your your 10 months will actually be paid in uh, a year okay you also have the access to estonia cultural and social environment hello folks and welcome to another section on this channel in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through this Estonia fully funded scholarship that you can apply to. Apart from your tuition fee being paid, you have access to stipends which you can use to cater for your own living expenses while you are in Estonia. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me, are there opportunities in Estonia that we can explore? Can you make a video about this? And this is why I'm bringing this video to you right now. Okay, so we are going to be looking at all the steps, information regarding this particular funded scholarship. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, and then make sure you drop your comments if you have any. Okay, so now let's quickly begin with all the information that we have for you here. So if you scroll down, the first thing we're actually going to be looking at are the eligibility criteria. You know, I can't uh, miss out that. Okay. You must be enrolled or applying to a degree at an Estonian university. Okay, typically required to demonstrate academic excellence and meet specific academic standard, which is majorly coming from the program that you are applying to. You must make sure that you meet up with language requirements of either English or Estonian itself. Okay, if you are someone who has uh, write either of the English proficiency tests, you can use this test to actually prove that you can communicate fluently in english and if you are someone coming from my home country nigeria you don't want to bother about this uh the highest thing you want to do is to go to your university and request for a letter that says all your program has totally be taught in english okay now those are for degree students we are going to be talking about degree student and the exchange student at the same time for the exchange student, same thing applicable to you. You must apply to uh, a home institution and uh, seeking to study in Estonia as part of an exchange program. In my previous videos, I've brought to you different uh, type of university where you can do exchange program that might uh, allow you the opportunity to study in other countries, right? So if uh, you've watched those videos and Estonia is part of those countries eligible, then you can see benefit from this type of scholarship that we are talking about today okay you require to maintain a good academic standard at their own country uh own institution language proficiency may be required depending on the course offered in estonia okay now you also want to check the list of countries that are available so these are list of countries that are available though we have a limited list here for people who can apply okay so these are the lists right here I'm going to make sure I drop all the links uh, that you can use to come to this official portal to read more information about who are who are eligible. Okay, for the required documents, you need to fill in the application file. You need to uh, attach your international passport or a valid passport copy. You need to attach your academic transcripts of record for those who are looking into PhD. You need your master's uh, certification and a transcript of record. For those looking into master's, you need your bachelor. Okay. You also need to get the proof of enrollment from the uh, university you are applying to before you uh, go ahead to the next stage of the process. Okay. Your language proficiency is required. CV and resume is also mandatory. Then you need to attach a letter of motivation. Okay. The deadline for you is actually in September. So as at the time of making this video, you have like uh, 58 days to the deadline. Okay, so that is the approximately uh, two months. Okay, from now, 
okay so whenever you are coming across this you want to make sure you go to the official portal to see the new deadline that has been announced on the portal okay so if you need uh, a one-on-one -on -one call with me maybe you have some concern you are trying to process your application you have some difficulties and you want us to resolve this on a one-on-one -on -one call session then you can actually request a one-on-one -on -one call section here with me okay if you also need admission support you can reach out to me if you want to join my premium whatsapp group where we can help you review your documents answer your questions different questions you might have regarding your application then you can also join my whatsapp group for this okay how do you apply once you are certain that you've met all the eligibility requirements you then need to process or start processing application to the foreign institution in estonia gather all these documents before you even start applying to these schools because on the school portal you have the privilege to actually check which program require a certain document okay then once you meet up with all the documents you then want to start the application okay so there's a section where you can actually download the application form for you to start your submission okay now if you come to this section submit application you need to send your completed application form and all the required documents to this particular email i know a lot of people might have dropped off at this time but if you are someone who watched this uh, section this is what you need to do at this time okay so you need to make sure you send the application form that you downloaded and fill up and also all the required documents that have been listed for you okay to this email right here make sure that the attached scan copy of all documents signed or paper is uh the one that you are attaching okay so this is majorly what you need to do now we need to go to the uh official announcement and application uh, section so if you click on this link right here this link right here is the one that will take you to the page so if you've not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified when there's a new content or information for you on this channel okay so here it says uh scholarship for the international students researcher and academic staff okay so this is the official information portal where this you know, or where all of this information is coming from so we need to take it one after the other okay so the application has opened uh for a couple of period now okay so though we have different information for different section right so i'm going to walk you through uh one by one okay so if you come to the section right here this particular last one right here you are going to see that the application uh 2024 application period will be open for first of uh august and today is just uh uh the fifth day of august right so it was after four days after the application is open that i'm making this video for you so you still have like approximately one month to uh, i mean two months to submit your application is that right is it two months or one month okay so you need to send all the application form and the required document to this email which i've shown you on that previous page so you might come to the top right here this is exactly what i'm saying some of them are also open this grant researcher and academic staff right so this one was open in april and closed in may this other one also open in uh, april and also closed in may but the one we are looking at is the scholarship for degree and exchange students okay so you want to make sure you follow that deadline that has been written there so that you don't miss out okay most people might be coming across this video later on when the deadline is due past you have to go to the official portal to go and check if uh this deadline are open then by that time okay so if any of these are open then or any of this okay so you just want to make sure you follow all the instructions if you click on read more every information you want to read more about is what i've already show you or talked to you about okay so you don't just want to waste your uh precious time you just want to start taking action immediately okay your uh, uh the application will all be required annex shall be submitted electronically application submission open one month before the deadline okay that's one month the application form cannot be changed and the form must be sent to the email so they are just trying to let us know again that you must send the email to this email that you can find it i don't know if 
uh, you can see my mouse clearly this email right here okay this email right here okay so you just want to make sure you follow that instruction okay apply for scholarship for degree and stage student amount of scholarship application procedure okay all you need to do those are the things that i've picked out for you and put on this uh page already okay so uh, it will be easier for you to get information here you can also come here to get some additional information if you want to okay the payment of the scholarship and reporting okay so how this is being done and all of those information are found here okay if you have any other question you want to make sure you drop it at the comment box and also uh share this video with a friend who might be looking for information like this i hope this is helpful enough for you to actually make decision to know if you are going to apply or study in estonia or not okay so see then i'm going to then catch up with you again thank you